1990円くつ世界は核の炎に包まれる海は枯れ地は裂けあらゆる生命体が絶滅したかに見えただが人類は死滅していなかった And what is up, guys? Team Rival here once again with an arcade commentary. I am playing Hokuto no Ken for the PS2. This was came out in the arcades in Japan and over here in America, and also it was ported to the PlayStation 2, but only in Japan. This game is made by Arc System Works, which is also very、uh, well known for the Guilty Gear and I believe the Blaze Blue series, and it plays very much similar to Gu Guilty Gear. But the main purpose of this is not to talk about the game so much. Because honestly, I really have very few things to say about the game except for that it's fucking beast and man. This is morely, more so for me to talk about Hokuto no Ken the anime and talk about the characters as we go through. I'm playing arcade mode with Kenshiro, and I'm just gonna go through, and it, it goes through the arcade mode in kind of, not really though, how it plays out in the anime, so it'll allow me to talk. Sequentially, as it goes through the anime, but I will try to avoid spoilers as always. But I cannot guarantee. So, if you guys are gonna watch this anime and don't want anything spoiled, then by all means, just click right out of the video right now. I will not be offended whatsoever. And by the way, this is a beast, beast theme song, probably my favorite theme song from an anime. Period. Okay, so as this finishes up, let me just start by talking about. Fist of the North Star, and just generally. Okay, so Fist of the North Star came out in the 80s. It revolved around Kenshiro, who, who existed in a post apocalyptic universe where fighting reigns king. As you see me pick Kenshiro, I love Kenshiro. He is by far my favorite character in the series. And the first opponent is Mr. Hart. I don't really have anything to say about Mr. Hardy, he's just a, a filler character more so. So I'll talk about Kenshiro. Kenshiro is just a fucking man.、Mr. That's、Hart. the only thing you can really say. He kicks ass, he can kill anyone in one hit. And personally, I think he's one of the strongest anime characters. Yo, buddy, Stronger than Goku. Sorry, guys, hate to tell you.、Battle、Goku、one. can't kill someone with one、destiny. finger. But, uh. Let me just explain the game mechanics too while I'm at it. So, as you can see, there is a below your health bar at the top. There are seven little blue squares. That represents your. I believe it's. I don't want to call it star power, but for the sake of me not knowing what the hell to call it, I'm just going to call it star power. And as you hit people with either that attack or that attack or a special. It drains it down, which allows you to do a fatal KO, similar to either the Guilty Gear or the Blaze Blue series. And the, the fatal KOs in this game are awesome. And I do not claim to be good at this game at all,、uh, but I do beat the arcade mode, which, if you guys remember, any of you, the、um, 18 of you who are subscribed to my, my other channel, Team Rival Woot, from way back in the day, probably about a year or so ago. I did an arcade run through of this game and got my ass handed to me by Rao. But, you know, I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, it doesn't happen this time. So, I, if I remember correctly, I recorded this a few days ago. I hit the,、uh, I don't hit the fatal KO on Mr. Hart. Oh, I guess I do, because I say that. Every time I hear that noise, that just gives me goosebumps. I don't know about you guys, if there's any Fist of the North Star fans out there, but I absolutely love Kenshiro, and I love this anime. It easily became one of my second favorite animes of all time. Okay, so moving on, we move on to Shin. He's the second、uh, guy you have to fight in arcade mode. And Shin, personally, They made him seem a lot more powerful than he actually was in reality in the beginning of the show. But I thoroughly enjoyed the Shin arc in、uh, Hokuto no Ken because both, both characters, Kenshiro and Shin, seemed to be very human. And they both had their. And in the end, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to try to spoil anything. They both they were able to reconcile their differences, however, however you want to realize that.、Uh, But as you can see, I just, I'm just fucking taking shit into town right now. I'm also doing this post 
post uh, me recording the video, I was actually on Skype when I was playing this, talking to uh, a couple friends, so hence why you can see I'm just kind of going for the fatal KO. And also, the bar, two bars at the bottom, the one on the top, if that makes sense, that it represents like a boost bar. So if you like tap the L1 or R1 button, I forget, forget which button it is, you can kind of just do like a little burst forward with your character, which allows you to easily do combos or like, uh, let's say I'm on the left side of the screen, I can, I can just charge up an attack like the punch to bring down the star bar and just and tap the R1 button and you'll fly over to the other side of the screen where you can release it, which allows for a lot of, a lot of combos to happen. This game, I wouldn't necessarily say it's broken, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 broken, but it certainly has its balancing issues. But I say that's in, that's more so a fault of the anime and not the developers, because Arc System Works knows how to make a good fighting game, and the way the tiers are set up in this game is that the, the most powerful character is Rao, He's fucking unbelievable, unbelievable in this game. And I'm about to fight future. Mamiya, Battle who's one. also kind of Decide a minor character in the game. I mean, not in the game, in the anime. Not really one of my personal favorites, just because she really doesn't seem to do too much except cause problems in the anime. And bitch and whine, which is, you know, I don't want to watch that when I'm watching an anime. I want to just watch Kenshiro pick the shit out of people. But anyway, more about the balance of the game. All the characters have infinites, I believe. You can go look up combo videos on, on YouTube. Like I said, I'm not good at this game at all, so I would be able to fucking show you any combos except for maybe a 10-hit combo if I'm lucky. I do have some cool combos in here, but they're just kind of nothing special. I'm sure anyone who plays this game would be able to to do them without problem. Battle two. Decide the destiny. Well, I, I honestly, this is a rather long video. I think it's about half an hour, if I remember correctly. So I may take pauses here and there just to, because I don't want to be talking the whole time. I kind of just want to let the game play out. So yeah, I'll let the game take it away. Oh, and one thing that may be of interest to you guys is that I actually modded my PlayStation 2 to play this game because I didn't even know about this to the North Star the anime. I hadn't even started watching the anime. Or even watched an episode of the anime before uh, I played this game. I've had this game for a couple of years now. I'd say like two or three years at least. I don't even have the greatest hits copy of the game. Or whatever it's called. Sega's best or... Not Sega's best. Sony's best in, uh, in uh, Japan. And see, I play a little bit sloppy there. and uh, tried, I was trying to... I love to get the deadly fist blow, man. I love to get the, the fatal KO going. Those, those, those attacks are so beast in this game. But I actually, I modded my, anyway, I modded my PlayStation 2 to play this game. And I must say, if you guys are a fan of Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, or fighting games in general, and you have a PlayStation 2 that you can mod, it's really worth it. The game is like 20 or 30 bucks nowadays on online. I'm sure you can find it for cheaper. But and if you get the swap, the swap magic, get the, the flip top going like I've got. It's like a, it ends up being like a $50 process, and you can burn games if that's your thing. And I beat Mamiya pretty pretty easily. She's rather low tier, if I remember correctly. And that brings us on to.